everyone and a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So guys, in our previous session, we have completed a whole module where we have learned that how we can deal with the multiple pages and how we can scrap data from the websites that have multiple pages. In our today's session, we are going to start with a completely new topic. Here we will be learning about a new library and with the help of this new library, again, we will be scrapping the data. Before we start learning this library, first of all, I'll be explaining you that what are JavaScript driven pages. So till here so far that uh, the websites that we have covered were different and now the websites in which we will be dealing will be different. For example, I would like to show you with the help of an example over here that how JavaScript driven web pages looks like. So here in this tab, I'll open Flipkart. If you remember, we have previously scrapped the data from Flipkart. And I'll right click over here, click on inspect, click over here and press control shift P. And if I'll write JavaScript disable and then refresh this page, nothing will happen over here. You will notice that nothing will happen here. While at the same time, if I'll open a new tab and if I write Mango India and if I open this website and here in the clothing, suppose I go with the quotes. Let's again right click over here and click on inspect. Now control shift P here, what I'll be doing, I'll just write JavaScript and I'll disable this here. Once I'll disable it, I'll just refresh the page. And as you can see over here that everything has been removed from this page. Once we have disabled the JavaScript from this page, there is no picture, there is no box over here. Previously, there were items, there were products that we could buy. But right now there are no products, nothing over here. Why? Because we have disabled the JavaScript. Now what do we need to understand over here is very simple that for assessing the HTML of the pages where we have JavaScript as well, we won't be using request library anymore. Here we will be using Selenium. With the help of Selenium, we are going to obtain the data. That means with the help of Selenium library, we will be obtaining the HTML. We will be creating the automations over here. Also, we will be getting the HTML and from that HTML, we will be scrapping the data. So this is what JavaScript driven pages are. If I want to show you another example for this, I'll go to Nike India. And if I just go with this one, the first link. In the first link, let's go with uh, men. And we can go with shoes as well. So yeah, right now we can see over here there are many products. If I right click here, click on inspect. And here if I write control shift P and write JavaScript disable. So if I run this, as you can see all the images from here have uh, been gone. Uh, you can see the other things but the images are not here. That means these images were coming here because of the JavaScript. That's why no more images are here. So this is how JavaScript works basically and if you want to extract the data from the pages which are JavaScript driven, in that case we will be using this new library that is called as Selenium. We will be learning about Selenium in our next session that what Selenium is, how Selenium works. Also we will be installing some packages for that. So I hope guys that as of now it is clear that what JavaScript driven pages are. So stay connected guys and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.